Oh, the most expensive moment in Necro was the demon that had the funny looking teeth and the uh, weird thing sticking out of his head with chains hanging off of him. That was really cool. And it was really expensive to have it made because we had to audition an individual who had the right moves. It wasn't about the way he looked, but it was about his moves. And we auditioned a whole bunch of people, found this one guy, and he just worked out perfect. My stepson, actually, when we were filming the scenes under the tunnels, my stepson and his buddy got to come down and, and be on set, and they met the demon, the guy that played the demon, a nice kid from California, a real tall guy. Stepped into the whole body suit and we're putting it on. They got to meet him, and and uh, that was that was a kick for them. You know, I mean, they, you know, like he says, he he looks at all horror movies with a whole new perspective now. That you know, you meet, you know, if you get to meet Freddy Krueger, he's not so scary anymore. Even though I I wasn't there to be to shooting or anything, I did spend quite a bit of time down in those tunnels underneath. Uh, the U of A where they shot a lot of those the pipes, the underground uh, scenes, and it was truly amazing. And there, there was a lot of people there. I was really amazed at how many people were there. Uh, they were very professional and did just a, a terrific job. Elvis Jones in Burbank took the guy, put him in a complete cast and made a form around this guy's body and then built the, the demon around that. So when we put him in that thing, it was, it was just him. Hot, it was uncomfortable, but uh, everybody was very enthusiastic about the project. And you know, being one of the first films of this caliber uh, to be involved with, I just found the whole experience just uh, terrific. Love to do it again. <laughs>